how to add product categories in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your product categories on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you might be wondering is I have logged onto my Shopify store. I am editing the online store. How do I add categories? Well, you don't add product categories from the online store editor. Uh, you're going to do that before you actually go into editing your store. So just log on to your Shopify store. This is going to be your homepage. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click on the online store over here once you click on that you're going to click on navigation and once you click on navigation you're going to click on add menu so or you can just click on main menu over here and from your main menu what you're going to do this is your product catalog so to add categories and subcategories you're going to click on add menu item you're going to write let's say a uh, bows and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add and then you're going to add a page over here so we're going to later on add those pages but what you're going to do is you're going to drag this over here drag it above and if you move it to the right over here this is going to be created as a sub page so you can see over here in our catalog we have the sub page of bows now after that you can keep on adding more sub pages and another thing that you can do is click on add menu item you can write small bows and click on add over here we're just going to add the home page and then what you can do is you can move this to the right as well and now bows has one category as well which is called small bows so this has its own categories and these categories have their own subcategories and let's say we add large bows you're going to click on add and then you have these two subcategories now after that you can just click on add menu item let's say we have uh, t-shirts we're going to add that other subcategory and you're just going to click on save and you're going to add that so these are two basic subcategories in the catalog section the bows and the t-shirt and then the bows has two other subcategories now how do you actually go on about to that page now after you have added those categories you're going to click on view online store and you're going to begin editing your online store so you can see over here this is your online store you're going to click on edit home page and what you're going to do basically is once you go on to your home page you're going to go and you're going to go into your pages so you're going to click on catalog over here and what you're going to do is you're going to create the pages that you just named over here on your menu item so we're going to go back into our little editor and what you're going to do is in the collection section you're going to add your pages so you can click on over here, click on the collection section, and you can see these uh, categories are going to be loaded up over here, and you're just going to add the pages. So we're going to go back, and then we're going to go into collections, create a template, and you're just going to click on add collection, and the collection is going to be bows, create template. And now in the collections, I have added the bows collection. So you can see over here, this collection has been added. Now, once you add collections over here, what you can do is go back into your Shopify dashboard, go into your product section, and then you can see over here, this is an item. And what you're going to do is you're going to add the collection for this item. So my product is currently looking like, and what I'm going to do is if I take a look over here that I have assigned two collections, zero collections. So in the bow section, what you're going to do is from your bows, you have your little item over here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go back into your product and then you're going to have a uh, type in product organization and you can see uh, all of these custom fields that we have over here and you're going to click on browse all or if you can't find the uh, collection that you created just add custom type you can add bows and you're just going to make sure that this is added all of the variants and options you're going to click on save and now once you have added all of that, what you're going to do is create the pages. So for that, you're going to go back into your dashboard. You're going to click on the online store and then you're going to click on pages over here. And once you do that, you're going to click on add page. And now I'm going to add the page called bows. And then you can click on save over here. And then what you're going to do is once I've added the bows page, I'm going to go back into my navigation. I'm going to click on main menu and I'm going to click on the catalog i'm going to add the main menu bows i forgot to save it previously but now i'm going to link it to the bows page so let's say this is just the bows page so i'm going to click on add over here and now i'm going to move this up and make it a sub page of catalog 
just like that and now i'm just going to save it over here and once you have done all of these steps you're just going to view your online store this is like a very blank online store this is just a sample for you to better understand how to do it on your own but if i click on catalog i have the subcategory of bows and if i click on bows over here i have the bows page this page is called bows and obviously i haven't added any products but once i add products then i can view them over here so if i go into my products and if you take a look at your product what you can do is you can click on over here in your collection section you can see over here i've added it to the home page but what you can do is add more pages as well so if i go on to the bows collection you can add that over here as well and you can you know add as many variants you want as many uh, options you want of your product now just like that you have your product categories and subcategories in shopify you can add as many as you want but i would recommend that you don't go overboard with creating your product categories and subcategories because if you do you know it might uh, make your navigation panel a bit too confusing and a bit irritating but you can add like all the basic categories that you want and you can uh, add different active and draft statuses on your product as well so that is how simple and easy it is for you to create your product categories so although shopify is a great e-commerce storefront creator and you can create a beautiful e-commerce storefront and create different product categories and customize your shopify store as much as you like it is not available for free so shopify starts at 29 dollars per month where you can add two staff members and four locations and you have to pay two percent transactional fees for all payment providers and you have a currency conversion fee of two percent as well and you have all of the basic things that are uh, available on any other e-commerce platform now the shop five plan which starts at 49 dollars per month has up to five staff members five locations product analysis and professional reports so that is one of their more pay like one of their more premium versions and they only have a transactional fee of one percent so that is with every shopify version the higher paid version that you opt for on shopify the lower transactional fees you have to pay although you have to pay the same currency conversion free on all three versions now on your advanced shopify plan you have a, up to 15 staff members eight locations fraud analysis reporting advanced report builders international pricing and duties and import taxes as well so that is another plan that you can opt for if you're looking for a higher end version of shopify i think for most people using the basic version and adding your own code and customizing your own e-commerce store with your own code and your own product categories and all that is going to be good enough for most people so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video